All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is final exam review packet unit three. We're just going to recap some things what happened in unit three and just go through it all. I'm going to try to go kind of quickly through because we only got 20 minutes each little motion. So this is probably part one. So here's the story with number one. We have parallel lines cut by a transversal. These two angles here, these two expressions, they're equal to each other because by definition of vertical angles. When two angles are sharing the same vertex or that point, and these are vertical angles, and with vertical angles they're equal to each other, so we set them equal to each other. So we have 27x minus 5 equals 25x plus 5. Now, pardon me, i got to write everything uh, on computer so it's a little bit worse of handwriting here. So what you do when you do an inverse operation, so it's a review from Algebra 1, you subtract 25x from both sides of the equation. So 27x minus 25x gets you 2x. You carry down your negative 5, carry down your equal sign. This positive 25 and negative 25, they cancel out. And you carry down your 5. Inverse operations, add 5 to both sides. So you get 2x equals 10. The viable size by 2. And you get x equals 5. So that's how we get the answer of 5 when we're solving for x here. All right, let's move on to problem number 2. This state, we still have parallel lines cut by a transversal, but these two angles, they're supplementary angles. They're right next to each other. So you have that angle and that angle. They're two different sizes. With supplementary angles, you, when you add them together, you can set them equal to 180 because they're both on one side of a line, like what we discussed with the circle stuff. On one side of a line, there's 180 degrees. So that's why I put 17x minus 5 plus 21x minus 5 is equal to 180. You combine like terms just like you did in Algebra 1. 21x plus 17x gets you a 38x. Negative 5 minus 5 gets you a negative 10 equals 180. Add 10 to both sides. You get 38x is equal to 190. Divide both sides by 38, and you're going to get x equals, well, 190 divided by 38. That's actually going to get us also 5. So x equals 5. Let me just type that right into the calculator. 190 divided by 38 gets you 5. So number 2, the answer is 5. All right, number three. We have 8x minus 2 is equal to 6x plus 16. The reason why they're equal to each other, because this is parallel lines cut by a transversal. And this is alternate exterior angles. By definition, alternate exterior angles are equal to, and that's just something you have to memorize. Alternate exterior angles are equal to each other. So we set them equal to each other. We do our inverse operations, subtract 6x from both sides. 8x minus 6x gets you 2x. So it's 2x minus 2 is equal to, they cancel out, you have 16. You carry that down. Add 2 to both sides. You get 2x is equal to 18. Divide by 2 to both sides. And you get x equals 9. That's how we get this answer for number 3, b equals 9. All right, let's move on to the next one. We have this parallel lines cut by transversal again. We're practicing this concept. Now, consecutive interior angles, consecutive interior angles, they add up together to equal 180. That's just something you have to memorize. So 16x minus 2 plus 102 is equal to 180. Negative 2 plus 102 gets you 100. So you have 16x plus 100 is equal to 180. 
subtract 100 from both sides you get 16x is equal to 80 divide both sides by 16 uh, what do you know once again we get x equals 5 so that's our answer 4 is B let's do another one number 5 we have parallel lines cut by the transversal we have alternate exterior angles alternate exterior angles what that means is that they're equal to each other so we set them equal to each other we add two to both sides so 37 X is equal to 74 divide both sides by 37 and we get X equals so 74 divided by 37 that's gonna get you 2 so the answer to number 5 is D 2 number 6 here we have uh, supplementary angles that means these two angles when you add them together they're gonna equal 180 they're on one side of a line so it's equal to 180 so supplementary angles 25 X plus 6 plus 49 equals 180 we combine like terms 6 plus 49 gets you 55 so 25 X is carried down plus 55 is equal to 180 subtract 55 from both sides sorry that the handwriting is not the best in the world but we gotta hang in there 25 X is equal to 180 minus 55 get you 125 divide both sides by 25 we well, get X equals or oh, what do you know it's another 5 so X equals 5 for number 6 All right, number 7 once again we have alternate exterior angles and we know alternate exterior angles they're equal to each other thus why well, set them equal to each other up here 13x minus 3 is equal to 11x plus 9 we use inverse operations 13x minus 11x gets you 2x carry down negative 3 carry down to 9 add 3 to both sides so you get 2x equals 12 divide by 2 and we get x equals 6 so my answer is 6 C for number 7 number 8 these are consecutive interior angles and just like I said before with consecutive interior angles they add up to 180 degrees so you gotta do X plus 69 plus 115 it's equal to 180 combine like terms 69 plus 115 gets you 171 184 so X plus 184 equals 180 now the value of X it can be negative the angle can't but the value of X can be negative so we have X equals 180 minus 184 gets you a negative 4 number 9 we have 9x plus 8 equals 10x we subtract 9x from both sides we get 8 equals 1x so thus x equals 8 now our problem number 10 we have alternate interior angles now alternate interior angles they're equal to one another they're congruent that's the geometry term congruent so we say 10x equals 9x plus 5 we subtract 9x from both sides 10x minus 9x gets you 1x cancel out the 9x's carry down the 5 oh look at that it's in our x equals 5 so number 10 the answer is x equals 5 
Number 11. Once again, they're alternate interior angles. They're alternate sides of the transversal line, that red transversal line. And they're inside the parallel lines. So they're inside these blue lines. So it's alternate interior. And alternate interior angles, they're equal to one another. So you set our two algebraic expressions equal to each other. You add three to both sides, so we get 63 is equal to 9x. We divide by 9 to both sides. Now 63 divided by 9, I believe that comes out to a null decimal there. We know 9 times 6 is 54. 9 times 7 is 63. Oh, so it looks at 7. So 63 divided by 9 gets you 7. So the value for number 11 is x equals 7. All right, here we go. Number 12. That's your transversal line. Transversal is cut by the parallel lines, or the parallel lines cut by the transversal. So that means this is alternate interior angles. Alternate interior angles, you set them equal to each other because they're equal to one another. They're congruent. We use inverse operations. So we have 17x equals 102. Divide by 17. We have x equals, well, 102 divided by 17. I believe that might come out to 5 or maybe 6, so we could type it into the calculator. 102 divided by 17. Alrighty. I better double check. So 102 divided by 17 gets you 6. So the answer is 6 for number 12. Alright, uh, number 13. We have a transversal line. Parallel lines cut by a transversal. These angles are corresponding angles. Then corresponding angles, they're also congruent. So we do 19x plus 4 is equal to 80. You do your inverse operations, you subtract 4 from both sides, and we get 19x is equal to 76. Divide both sides by 19. And we're going to get x equals, well, 76 divided by 19. I put that into my calculator. And I find out that's 4. So x equals 4. So that's how you solve for the value of x on that one. Problem number 14. Parallel lines cut by a transversal. These are consecutive interior angles like we've been practicing x plus 96 plus the 90 because that little red box means 90. We add them up. x plus 96 plus 90 gets you 186. Gets you equal to 180. You do your inverse operations. Subtract 186 to both sides. And you get x equals negative 6. So the answer to number 14 is x equals negative 6. Number 15, you have parallel lines, once again cut by the transversal. You have alternate interior angles, and we know alternate interior angles, they're congruent, so we set them equal to each other. And do inverse operations, we subtract 118 from both sides, so we get x equals negative 8. Number 16, we have parallel lines cut by a transversal. They're consecutive interior. And consecutive interior angles, we know the sum of them, or aka when you add them up together, they equal 180. So that's why we got this equation here on the side, 1 plus 61. Well, that's 17x plus 61 is equal to 180. We subtract 61 from both sides and we get 17x is equal to 119 and then we type into our calculator 
119 divided by 17. I gotta do that because I can't do that in my head. So 119 divided by 17 and I get 7. So x equals 7 for number 16. Number 17. Parallel lines cut by a transversal. We see that these are supplementary angles and supplementary angles they add up to get you to 180 so 82 plus 103 gets you 185 so this is gonna be X plus 185 equals 180 we subtract 185 from both sides so we get X equals negative 5 so the answer for number 17 is x equals negative 5. Number 18. Parallel lines cut by the transversal. Oh my gosh, shocker. Alternate interior angles. We set them equal to each other. We subtract 86 from both sides because we're just doing inverse operations just like you did in Algebra 1. 79 minus 86 gets you negative 7. So that's your answer. As you can see, we've got a couple more. Two more to go of the equation stuff. So parallel lines cut by the transversal. These are vertical angles, just like the first one we did. Vertical angles. Vertical angles, we set them equal to each other. 21x plus 5 equals 22x. We do inverse operations. 21x, 21x, they cancel out. Carry down your 5. 22x minus 21x gets you 1x. Thus, x equals 5. And that's the answer for number 19. Number 20. This is, once again, parallel lines cut by a transversal. This is consecutive interior angles. Consecutive interior angles, you set them equal to, I'm oh, sorry, you add them up and set it equal to 180. So 7x minus 6 plus 130 equals 180. You combine like terms. So it'll be 7x plus 124 is equal to 180. So yeah, that's a 124. Subtract 124 from both sides. You get 7x equals uh, 56. 56 divided by 7. I'll write that over here. x equals 56 divided by 7. Get you 8. Boom. So x equals 8. All right, the next little section here. They're asking, identify each pair of angles of are corresponding, alter interior, alter exterior, or consecutive interior, or vertical, or adjacent. So, you have the transversal line here. They're asking about X and Y. They're alternate interior. They're opposite of the alternate line, and they're inside the parallel lines. So they're alternate interior. So 21 is B. 22. Parallel lines cut by the transversal, they're vertical angles. They're touching tips. The two angles, they're sharing the same vertex. 23. Let's make that bigger. 23. Parallel lines cut by the transversal. We're almost there. We're almost there. 20 minutes. They're exterior angles. They're alternate sides of the tra um, transversal line, so it's alternate exterior. See? 24. This will be our last one here. Parallel lines cut by the transversal. They're vertical angles because they're sharing the same vertex. And then 25, 26, 27 is just more of the same, guys. More of the same. 28's vertical angles, 27's uh, corresponding, 26 is consecutive interior, 25 is alternate exterior. Alright, we made it through. Good job.